of Billy the Kid, the new evidence, and it was um, he, a follow-up video he made to help validate that this photo was real and to add more evidence to it. However, he would not give this video to anybody who was a debunker or a naysayer. He would only give it to people who already believed it was real. So I had my girlfriend email him and ask him for it, and she said she she believed it and everything, and he gave it to her. So now you guys get okay, it. Okay, so we're looking at Let's a shot watch. of the Flying H schoolhouse building. It's now okay. So now, we're looking at a shot of watch it. Look at this. See, I didn't put that. That's him. He wrote this. The large tree seen behind other video footage shot earlier this year was cut down by landowner prior to the photo documentation. You will see the tree in some shots that follow. That photograph was taken then. I already had two videos debunking it out by October 26. This structure that is believed to be the site and setting for the croquet Billy the Kid photograph. Um, the first thing we're going believed. to do not it is, but believe. is roll in the opacity on some of the features from the original tint type, including the subjects. And the first thing you're going to see is, or I should say, are the trees, the big uh, white oak trees that pop up in the background. And you'll also see the original roof of the wooden structure, the lumber structure that was in, that's in the croquet photograph. This photograph does not bring in the structure itself from the tintype. It just brings in the roof line. When I add that photograph in, why? You see now why not? Is the bring in the structure itself. Tintype. And I'm going to back the opacity off so you can kind of see how that comes in and how it lines up. We know that this house was. This you see how twisted that picture was. That's. I mean, that's not fucking right. That didn't line up right. Documentation on when the wooden structure was actually built. It and that we're continuing to. No documentation. Um, only speculation, but it's fairly speculation. Reasonable speculation that the uh, structure uh, was there obviously before 1878, and um, and. Why is that obvious? Uh, the Felix School Could House, be. Which we know was built oh, okay. in this area uh, prior to 1900, although an exact date of that has not been located I'm, yet. It's like this is a house and stuff. They have no deed, no nothing. They have no idea where it came from. Based on descriptions of Give me a break. They have to know where it came from, what was going on. So they, they have to be able to follow it back somewhere. This is this is ridiculous, you know? And it, this video is made just to you know propagate the fact that to people who already believe it's real. What's the point of that? We know that they added on to the structure. Like I said before, the original schoolhouse was pretty small and the current Flying H schoolhouse, which was opened in 1935, reopened, I should say, that there was a structure there prior to that, um, reopened in 1935 as the Flying H school. The, the key thing to really know here is this door on this side of the building, which would be the east side of the building, this door is slightly off center to the left of the center beam. It's not directly under the center beam. The door on the Flying H school, and I'm leaving the old trees and the old figures in, that doorway is identically off-center to the left under the main beam. We believe that the roof structure was changed. We believe that the roof trusses and pitch were changed. That uh, we can speculate as to why. It's an old building, I think in 140 years, in uh, the harsh environs of the New Mexico uh, desert, uh, you're going to have um, decay and uh, weathering, pretty severe weathering, on a structure like this. So, uh, we, you know, this this structure that you see now is stucco, adobe combination. There is lumber underneath this structure, um, and it could be lumber from this original schoolhouse. You can see when I fade back and forth. Now, the, let me ask you guys something. The building. How, how could today, how could any of that um, matter um, at all? They, they line up again. He straight up just said that the he believes it's the trusses are different, the pitch is different. Has anyone in the history of home construction ever built a house and then decided, okay, we're going to change stuff? You know what? 
Let's change the pitch of the roof. Has that ever happened? It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. And the fact that he's saying, oh, well, you know, in 140 years of, uh, you know, the harsh New Mexican desert with all the uh, elements and the weather and everything that, you know, you're going to have decay and things move around and, and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Um, in Lincoln County, they the courthouse and all those other buildings that everyone knows for a fact, Billy the Kid was in are still there today. They haven't changed, they haven't decayed, they haven't moved at all, the pitches of their roofs have not been inverted, everything is completely the same, and they it's just like that. But this building is not. This has come up and down several times. They can't track where it comes from, what it is. There's no deed to it. There's no zoning bills to it. I mean, they could just build a structure out here like this. There's nothing to it. There's no water. There's no power. I mean, come on. They're telling me you're not able to track this back to where it was made. That's ridiculous. He's not giving you all the information. He's trying to convince you that this is real. And he's, you know, fooling fucking everybody. Because I have so many people like, this is real. This is real. It's fucking not real. I'm sorry. And he's trying to complete it. You guys are falling for it. That's what's fucked up is you guys are believing this bullshit instead of asking the question like, are you serious? You guys don't have a deed. Y'all don't have property taxes or titles. Nothing. Nothing at all. And we're just expected to believe it. Unfortunately, most of the people on my fucking channel <laughs> commenting, uh, they don't get it. They, they're they like, oh, yeah, it's just there. They're, yeah, that's fine. That totally makes sense. That, duh, of course. No, it's fucking not. Let's finish this. Look how twisted this picture is right here. Let me let me grab an let me grab one. All right, so here I have a photo for you guys right there. And look, how come how come it's like this? Why can't it just be straight? Look, it, why won't it just match up with it? What's what's wrong? You know, it's because he's trying to fool simple people who look at stuff and and don't know what what the real deal is. The photo is twisted it's it's turned inside the computer where it's being manipulated and i'm gonna have to do the same thing if i want it to try to line up properly so if i was to take the opacity out so i can make it translucent so we can try to line it up okay it gets close it gets close but look up here also this it won't line up properly okay you have to twist it on the inside so we got to do this look We have to do something like that to get it to line up. All right, here we go. This is probably the closest I can get it for you. I mean, he's got it all twisted around in there. Okay, so right there, it's, uh, right there. I mean, he won't even, he's not even set in the picture right. It, he, it has to be squeezed like that. You have to twist it and squeeze it in order to make it fit. Well, why is that? Because it, it won't line up any other way. But that's another reason why he's only putting in uh, the tree, the roof, and the individuals. Because if he actually lined up the picture over top of the background, you would see 100% that it's not the same area. And that's what I'm going to show you. All right, bullshit. Let me show you guys something, okay? Okay, I'm going to do it for you so you guys can see actually what happens if you try to cover up the picture with it, okay? So let's find a good one that's clear like that. So how does that look? That's that's basically clear. I mean, you can still kind of see it stuff back there, but this is their picture, right? You can you can make, make out the mountains and the trees and everything, correct? All right. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Can you guys make out the tree back there? Okay, just so you guys can kind of get an idea. Now, let me show you something. I have the, uh, the photo already overlaid, and I want you guys to take a close look, okay? Here we go. See here. Okay. So, it matches with the tree, see? 
Okay. Now, this is the issue I want to show you guys. Okay. Let me get in closer for you. Did you spot it? Did anyone see why these are definitely not the same places? You guys see it? Ooh, see it? Got it? Look. Here you go. And here you go. Take a look. This is why he did not uh, put anything else in the video to overlay. Okay, because you would have you would have seen 100 percent. This is not the area. Look. Now, anyone who wants to come and argue this with me, feel free. Okay, if you if you feel like you have a valid way to argue this, uh, if you want to say, oh, it's it's uh, it's erosion. It's 100 and it's 140 years of it's 140 years of erosion and, and the Mexican desert, and it only affected this one area, and nowhere it didn't affect actually Lincoln, uh, New Mexico, or anything else, any of the other historic sites. Just this one place that nobody has ever fucking heard of before has been affected by it. Their mountains and hills have changed, and that's this is the only place in all of America where this has happened. So. All right, let's keep going. Look at that. See, when they're zoomed in like this, how come this guy is over here? Where's the other guy? Uh, he's completely cut out because if he was in the picture, it wouldn't look right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's better. There you go. You guys, is there were so many people giving me a hard time saying, oh, you can't, um, you no one cares what you say. You're, you're not an expert. And by the way, you, you can't do uh, video analysis or you can't use um, um, computer software to analyze a uh, tintype photograph or any of those photographs. You, you can't do that. So it, it, that just doesn't work anyway. Uh, and they're, they're sort of like laughing at me. Like, oh, look at this idiot. He's using um, uh, software to analyze a tintype photograph. Okay. Well, let me show you guys something. Yes, you most certainly uh, can. You can do that to any photo that's been scanned. Um, and uh, in fact, they for the documentary, did it themselves. All right, let's check this out. So far unable to find the location of where Randy's tintype photograph was taken and very short on funds. Randy and Linda returned to California to take a new approach to getting their picture authenticated they decided to use the newest computer technologies to prove that the tintype is real and that the people in the picture are who he thinks they are. Although these techniques are not fully embraced by the collectibles community, Randy has few other options. In all cases that I work, I deal in absolutes. Doug Carner is a high-level forensic photographic expert. First, when I looked Doug up, this is what I came across, all right? I came across this article here. When is an expert not an expert? All right. Now, what this article is about, uh, the Zimmerman trial. All right. And what happened was the ABC network, uh, the news station, um, they hired Doug as a forensic video specialist. All right. For him to clean up the video and let you see that um, he actually got hit in the back of his head or whatever. And um, this this um, article here is actually written by an, another um, uh, forensic photo um, expert. And he was like, you know, who is this guy? What is his background? You know, do we, you know, no one knows him for anything. So how do we know he's an expert and how come uh, right. He's now working for. He's, he does ABC have. He has an air filter on. Doing this from, um, this know, is actually from uh, Adobe Photoshop, and um, I know, so I've used this program many a times. Let me uh, let me show you guys something. He he says, does anyone realize that he's studying this section of the photo? Where's Billy the Kid? Because he's uh, he's because this is uh, Tom right pointing the other way, and he said he clearly said that. 
well, if uh, if this was them, they would show up, you know, if this was inserted or something, they would show up more ghostly, okay? Well, they look pretty ghostly to me, but I'm, it's kind of hard to tell that they look so ghostly. And, you know, well, why is that? Because for some reason, it is flipped over to negative. Now, if this was just regular, you would be able to see it clear as day. But for some reason, they have it flipped over to negative. But we're going to invert that and flip it back so we can see what the fuck they're looking at. Let's take a look. See, this is my negative. See, everything turns negative on there. You see? Okay. See, it's all negative. Do, do, do. Okay. Watch. Now look. Where, where, look at this person. Now, if you think that that person is not like a ghostly image, you're fucking crazy. Okay. You can fucking see right through them. Exactly. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is, this is the not, I mean, that doesn't look right at all. Okay. It's like, weren't we looking for, weren't you just, weren't you just on Billy the Kid? Okay. How, how come you're only studying these three now? What, I mean, what the fuck just happened? All right. This is, this is, this is how easily everybody is being fooled and you're just sitting there and sucking it down because it was on TV. So you're like, yeah, that's fucking real. And uh, me, I'm just a fucking dude on YouTube. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And these guys are real experts. They're trying to confuse you people. All right. They're trying to make money. Why would they do this for fucking money? Let's continue. Uh, uh, yeah, there's always noise through every single picture. I mean, what the fuck is he talking about? He's just trying to sound smart, like all oh, say stuff that you know people don't know to sound like he knows what he's talking about. But obviously he doesn't. In fact, this is why they kept it out of the documentary. This is why they were like, no, we have to delete this because this is this was their photo analysis expert. But everyone knows already he is not an expert, and he would have been called out real quick. Now, this is, this is something that, now let me show you guys this, okay? So here we go. This is Kagan's. This is their expert, okay? This is who authenticated it and said that it is real and worth $5 million. And this guy is right and I'm wrong, okay? Because he is the expert. He is a PhD, okay? He is a doctor of numismatics. You guys know what that word is? Who knows what that word is? Okay. He's a coin collector. That's what numismatics means. Okay. He collects coins. That's, a, it's, that's what he does. That's his business. That's what he's into collecting coins. I don't know how that relates to, um, you know, being able to authenticate a tin type photograph of Billy the Kid, but apparently it does. But let's go beyond that. He has a PhD. So that's why. That's why I can't be right. And he has to be right because he's a doctor. He has a PhD. He should know. Okay. Well, let's read what it says about him. Uh, he earned the first bachelor of arts degree. Okay. In numis numismatics granted by Northwestern university, simultaneously earning another BA in history graduate and po postgraduate studies at Union Houston Institute, University Northwestern, Drake and John Hopkins universities, along with these associations are not schools or anything. These are things you join for being coin collectors. The American Numismatic Association, that's because you collect coins. Uh, the American News, uh, Numismatic Society, another coin collecting thing. And then Smithsonian Institution. What the fuck would they have to do with you earning your doctorate but somehow look he says it right fucking there you know earned it his first doctorate ever you can it's, you cannot get a doctorate or a phd in numismatics it doesn't exist the first there was a program for it there was at one time and it was created by him and his father they created a school and a program to give out PhDs, and he gave himself a PhD along with going to these other schools and trying to obtain a PhD. Unfortunately, there's go there's some issues with that too. Okay, this is the school Union Institute University PhD. Okay, this is where he went to get his PhD, and their PhDs are fake. 
you pay for them and there are this is a list of 40 different people suing there is a group together suing this school because their PhD system is fake their credit system is fake they are they're not accepted by anybody anywhere it's completely false and so that is who authenticated it that's the guy who's you know he's the he's the, he's the authority he's he's correct okay because he's because he's what he's nothing he's a fucking liar all right prove me wrong prove me fucking wrong okay let's see this so let me show you guys this Kagan all right look this is about him this is about Kagan right here they're going off because all of these guys who collect coins and they're in this field are like um you can't get a a doctorate in it what the fuck do you think he wrote his thesis on to become a doctor of coin collecting he's full of shit and even uh, people in his own community of coin collectors are like yeah you, you you can't you can't do that you know and this is years ago it had nothing to do with the photograph or anything before all that they were like no 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 you can't do that read it go ahead take your time go look it up it's real i'm fucking correct okay and this is even better you guys know what this is? This is Speedy Deletion Wiki, okay? This is a site that posts pages that were um, deleted off of Wikipedia, okay? The, through the Speedy Deletion process. Um, so what is, it, it, what's on this right here? If you don't wanna stop and read it, this is the exact same thing that is on his page at, for his website, the exact, the whole story of himself, you know? Uh, but he had put that, in wikipedia you know trying to promote himself okay well they put it through speedy deletion and it just got you know just got uh, taken off let me show you so here we go so here now we're at wikipedia this is for kagan it was like i let's see here i click on it we're gonna go right to it there's the deletion log okay now you can go and find out why was this deleted what kind of deletion you got. He got a speedy deletion. Now the rules, it ha there are certain criteria. If your page is fake or has nonsense, hoaxes, vandalism, it is, uh, it is, um, will get speedy deletion and just taken off. There's no questions, no nothing, just it's taken off. Well, his background was made up universities and made up doctorates and PhDs and stuff. And they straight up took his Wikipedia site, his profile off and they're like no it's no good you think he went through you know i mean you can put a wikipedia page about fucking anything and it'll take them weeks to shut it off you know but this guy he puts his profile up there and they take it off no problem because it's completely fucking fake okay that's i'm not making it up go fucking look all right so this is the man who authenticated it he it said it's five million dollars everybody all right so you know he's he's a he's a doc, he's nothing he ain't fucking shit all right the guys are going out of their way to confuse people is taking all they're doing is exploiting the fact that people are ignorant and will sit there and see something on tv and they're like oh so it's it's true it's real and they don't question it themselves and they're taking that and exploiting it they're exploiting the loophole of you're not able to um document or validate stuff from a long time ago because you know no one it wasn't around you so it's like you just have to know you know that's why people look for provenance and jeff was like well you know we could just make our own provenance i mean you guys say there's oh it's there's a lot of provenance with it what's the provenance you say oh it's from the uh it's from the diary right yeah the diary says that where where does it say it? It never one time says anything about them having a, a wedding and, and playing a polo. It never fucking says that. And you guys just look right past it. Cause there's, cause in the documentary, they're like, we're going to look for that. And when we find it, we're going to say, yes, that's our, that's our ticket. But they never do. They simply trick you through editing and stuff and make you you're like, oh, yeah, go. Well, I guess they did. No, they didn't. Go watch the documentary and prove me wrong. Go watch and say, oh, yeah, see, it's right there. That's the day that they played it. That's the day that of the wedding. That's when it happened. 
okay? It's, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It's sad that they're able to do the stuff that they do and say the things right in front of everybody and nobody even questions it and thinks twice, you know, if they just looked at what they were saying, that would just, just that, just that would prove that they were wrong. All right. Let's, let's take the, uh, the photo. It was supposed to be taken during what's his fate, uh, Doc Skurlock's wedding or celebrating his wedding. And that is the reason that is the excuse that they made to why nobody had any guns because it was Doc Skurlock's wedding. All right. And this is the guy, this is him right here. This, this is him. And, um, this is the photo that was found on him. Remember they said this in the documentary. Okay. They said this in the documentary. What the fuck is in his hand? Okay. This is his wedding photo. Everybody knows that this was said in the documentary and it was found on his body when he was shot. And they're saying, oh, yeah, well, that's why nobody had guns at that photo, the, the croquet photo, because um, because of the wedding. They were celebrating. But yeah, OK, so what the fuck is this? He got married with his fucking guns, dude. People are trying to kill him. All right. He didn't give a fuck about that. I mean, come on. E even in his wedding photo, he's got two guns. But no one is questioning this. And then I question it. And people are like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. Go fuck yourself. All right. I'm sorry that there are idiots out there who don't understand it. I was trying to just point something out. But then you got fucking bitches like Chuck Master. I'm sorry. Prove me wrong, you fucking idiot. You can't do shit because you don't know shit. You know, if anyone wants to debate the evidence I have presented from anything, you're more than welcome to. And I am always open to listen, okay? In fact, I, I'm not stuck on saying that this picture is fake. If someone was able to come to me and show me 100% that this is this is it, you know, like there's no question to show me the evidence, I would change. I could change my opinion. I'm, I would be willing to do that. That's what any normal fucking person should do. I have showed you guys the evidence. Why not only the photo is fake, but why they were able to get away with something like this because all they're doing is trying to convince people of provenance they don't need anything else okay all they needed was a fucking a video camera and they just went around filming stuff and you think it's real because they said so it doesn't fucking make it real it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't at all and you know i'm you know i just happen to come across it. I'm like, well, uh, this is obviously not real and decided to speak up and say something because no one else was saying anything. And you know, yes, I'm not National Geographic. Okay. And no, I'm not dude perfect. I don't have 10 million fucking subscribers. I have fucking 18 subscribers. Okay. But it doesn't make me any less right. And if you believe that you can challenge any of these things and any of these points, fucking do it, please. Okay. Go and go make your own fucking video and show me a fucking mountain that eroded away over fucking a hundred years and you know, go, go and fucking prove your fucking point. All right. It's just, it's all, it's all people just want to talk shit and not accept that I'm fucking correct or they get mad because I am correct. And there's, you know, they just don't like that, you know, well, fuck, fuck, I'm fucking sorry, you know, but I, when it comes down to it though, you know, people were fucking dicks about all this bullshit well i'm just trying to fucking say yeah it, this is true but there were people who were fucking there from the beginning all right and i want to give thanks to these guys all right because you know you guys really stuck out frankie glass especially you brother you did a great job helping me out paul gallus was there from the beginning enigmas come on brother you know you know the deal man all right these guys right here were the only people who were like oh yeah well <laughs> you know it He's right. In fact, Frankie Glass was talking shit to me. Remember, brother? He, he was talking shit to me like, oh, you're fucking wrong. And then he was like, he looked and studied it himself. He's like, holy shit, he's fucking right. Well, you know, that's what fucking, that's what fucking happens. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your fucking help, guys. All right.